Да, вперед! A Kremlin journalist covering the war had a lucky escape after the armed forces of Ukraine reminded Russian television viewers that this war is far from over. This comes as the media in Russia has been accused of making false claims about Russian progress in Ukraine, to boost morale among its forces, and better sell the war to the Russian public. According to its daily assessment, Russian defense operations remained limited in breadth and scale, and fighting west of Lysyhansk, which Moscow's forces have taken, was centered on Siversk and Bakhmut. This is despite Russian assertions that they entered the town's outskirts earlier in the week, defense officials stated on Saturday. Russia has previously made early and inaccurate claims of success, according to the authorities, and this was likely intended at least in part to demonstrate success to domestic audiences and boost the morale of the fighting forces. The UK Ministry of Defense also reported that Ukrainian forces have been able to rebuff Russian advances following the fall of Lysyhansk and that the Ukrainian defensive line has been shortened and straightened. This has allowed for the focus of troops and fire against diminished Russian strikes and has been significant in limiting Russia's momentum, they continued. Russia has been accused of intensifying its long-range shelling of Ukrainian cities, prompting the release of this study. According to a message posted on Telegram by the regional governor, three persons were killed and 15 were injured when Russian missiles struck the Ukrainian city of Dnipro on Friday. Images of black smoke billowing from buildings and automobiles ablaze in the city were shared by Reuters on social media. In the meantime, the governor of Donetsk, Pavlo Kirilenko, reported that shelling in the eastern part of the region had resulted in eight deaths and 13 injuries. Russia has instructed its forces in Ukraine to intensify operations, according to the country's defense ministry, as rockets and missiles again pummeling the country in the latest of a series of attacks that Kyiv claims have killed dozens of people in the past few days. In the most recent attack, missiles struck the northeastern village of Chuhuiv in the Kharkiv area, killing three people, including a 70-year-old woman, and wounded three others, according to the regional governor, Ole Sinihabad. The Secretary of Ukraine's National Security Council, Oleksiy Danilov, stated that Russia was expanding its strikes on civilian targets, such as the missile attack on the city center of Vinnytsia, which killed 23 people, including three children. They've chosen to frighten the civilian population, he told the newspaper. On Friday, a U.S. official refuted Russia's allegation that it had targeted a gathering of the Ukrainian Air Force in its attack on a city some 260 kilometers southwest of Kiev. The Institute for the Study of War, a U.S.-based think group, concurs with Ukraine's assertions that Russian forces are targeting civilians. In its daily assessment of the war, it was reported on Friday that Russian forces had maintained their systematic attacks on civilian infrastructure against residential buildings, recreational facilities, and educational institutions in Mykolai. Moscow has denied targeting civilians in the past, and Newsweek has reached out to the Russian Defense Ministry for response. The ISW further reported that Russian forces were possibly emerging from their operational stop and had initiated ground attacks north of Sloviansk, southeast of Siversk, near Bakhmut, and southwest of Donetsk City. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you can be alerted to our next video. We'll see you again soon on Warzone.